what's going on everybody i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you happen to be right now in phoenix it's a wonderful 96 degrees weather starting to change the wind is from the southwest at five miles an hour and this is an awesome day i want to talk to you a moment about defending god sometimes people are asking questions about if god is god and why this and, and they have all these different questions they're asking about god and as a pastor and as a Christian, I don't tend to get into the dialogue about that. My point and how I want to help people is I want to try and help them to move toward the light. Move toward the light. Whether you say, I believe that there's a heaven and there's a hell, there's good, there's evil. Uh, for those who may not believe those things, there's darkness and there's light. And I think you, you can always, you can agree on one of those spectrums. Let's say that point of it, there's, you believe there's darkness, there's light. And the Bible says that God is light. So ultimately, anything that's light is going to be moving you toward that direction of God. But if there's something good that's happening in your life right now, that's light. If you have joy, that's light. If you have peace, if you have friendships, things that are working in your life, things that are positive, is light. In the absence of that light, darkness shows up. Darkness does not overtake your life. Darkness has no power. So if you have a lot of stuff, grief and turmoil and stress and pain and issues in your life and trauma, that's darkness. And darkness cannot just show up, even though you may feel like somehow this stuff just, you're just, just beating up on you or Satan is just overtaking you. He gets there or your darkness shows up by permission. By you not permitting the light to come in, darkness, shows up. Think about it for a moment. If there's light in a room and you start decreasing the light, the darkness shows up because the light is being removed. And if you want to get rid of the darkness, what would you do? Turn on the light. It's as simple as that. So with that idea in mind, whatever darkness that you have, whether that's pain or whether that's drama or stress or whatever issues, fear, worry, troubles, that's a result of darkness trying to overtake you. Now the purpose, if darkness is there, it's like anything else. It will soon try and incorporate and encompass your whole life. You have your whole life as nothing but darkness. If you allow darkness into any area, it's going to perpetuate itself and more darkness is going to show up. Because when you feel darkness or when you feel those things, you don't want to turn on the light. You don't want to do those things. So the darkness just keeps reinforcing. It's like a cycle. The more darkness you're in, the more you tend to close the blinds in your house. You shut out all, all light and you're dwelling in darkness. So there's a cycle that's constantly making you worse. So whether you believe in God or not, whether you believe in Christianity or whether you believe in faith or whatever it is, you have to ask yourself, is the darkness working for you? Is it really working? And if not, it would be wise to move toward 